What's going on guys, GlockGuy226 here, and I was just sitting around thinking, um, watching some videos, and I've kind of been pondering this idea around back and forth, watching so many videos that I have. Um, you know, EDC, this is such a big topic, um, so much falls into this category, you can go on and on for days, there's hundreds of, probably, probably multiple thousands of EDC videos on YouTube right now, and you know, it's hard to tell somebody they're wrong at this, or, you know, this is great, whatever. As long as you're comfortable with your system, and as long as you think it's reliable, um, I think there's a lot of people that probably should take an evaluation of their systems, but um, that's on them. You know, whatever price point you can afford, it's better than nothing, okay? But there are a few pieces of gear that you really can't skimp on, guys. Um, you know, when I first got into, you know, the firearms world and all that, the industry, I really, you know, I, I tried to go cheap. I tried to cut corners just like in anything else in life. We try to get the cheapest, best product we can. And there's nothing wrong with that. But in the firearms industry, guys, whether it's gear, um, even knives, guns, whatever, it doesn't pay to go cheap. Um, you'll be buying stuff twice, and that's just the way it is. Now, you know, I'm not saying there's not $300, $350 guns out there that are starting to perform great. You know, I'm not saying there's not optics coming out that are 150 to 200 dollars that are performing like aim points you know things are evolving but there are a few pieces of gear that a lot of people seem to skimp on they just for some odd reason I don't know why and it's not that they're really expensive um, you know you can get expensive for what it is I guess but one of those things is an EDC belt guys um, you know this is an SOE belt it has the Cobra buckle on it here um, awesome setup guys I, I you know, it was hard to spend $70 on a belt like this. Um, you'd think if you're going to spend that kind of money, you go buy yourself a Gucci Louis Vuitton belt or something, but um, which they're more expensive than this. But anyways, um, I paid $70 for this. I um, had to wait a couple weeks to get it. But all in all, guys, it is a quality product. And there's a lot of people out there that don't like SOE because they don't like Willis or whatever. You know, bullshit aside, whether you like them or not, um, this is a damn quality, it, it's a quality product, and you can't get around that. Um, they do make this belt in a lot of different variations, and there's a lot of other companies that make this belt. Um, not SOE particularly, but they make an EDC belt. And the key ingredient to an EDC belt is pretty much not being flexible. Um, if you can see, even if I hold it up where the uh, Cobra buckle is, it doesn't flex. You know, yeah, it droops a little bit because of the weight of it. But all in all, guys, when you have this belt on... It's not going to flex. I mean, I cannot bend this belt in half. I mean, it's just not happening, guys. It's anybody that um, has seen these belts, or even say you wear like a core belt or whatever, as long as it's a dedicated gun belt, guys, you have no idea how much this improves your everyday carry. I mean, before I bought this belt, I really didn't understand it either. I was kind of like, why would you buy this $70 belt? You know, is it a gimmick? Um, it does it really help your system that much but guys it really does and like I said you don't have to buy a $70 Cobra buckle you know EDC belt you can find nice belts out there um, I used to have another one around here somewhere hold on one minute just gotta dig around in a few totes and I'll find my gear but um, this belt this was the first EDC belt I ever bought um, it is a 511. Um, I think I picked this up at Gander Mountain for like 20 bucks. Now, as you can see, um, it's not nearly as nice as the SOE belt. Um, still not a bad belt, though, guys. This is better than just an everyday run of the mill Walmart belt or something. Um, I think I paid about $20 for this belt, and this did help my system out a lot. Um, after I bought this belt, I, I realized that, hey, it is worth it to buy a quality EDC belt. So I went ahead and ordered the SOE belt, and I'm extremely happy with that. Even that, you know, it's quite a step up from this belt. Um, you know, like I said, you don't have to go buying the Cobra buckle and all that. It just, it's really a convenience thing. Um, just makes it a lot easier to take on and off every day if you need to do that. So, um, you know, belts are, are very key. I've always seen videos and, you know, people might mention their belt and then I'd see some videos where people just keep hitting, you know, your belt is one of the most important things and I, I just never really understood that until I started running one myself. And guys, it's definitely one of the reasons, you know, if you carry a gun every day 
and you forget you have it, you know your system's down pretty well. Um, if you can conceal a full size 1911, you know, with the weight and, you know, the length of it, everything, and forget you have it on, you're doing something right. So um, I'm very happy with my systems right now. Um, that belt, uh, I wear it every single day. I've never had one issue with it. I've had it for probably about eight months now. I'm very, very happy with it. Now, the next key thing to your systems would be a quality holster, guys. And, you know, with the Kydex industry these days, there's just hundreds and hundreds of holsters. You can go on for days. Whether you like leather holsters, whether you like crossbreed holsters, or, you know, you get some custom Kydex. Um, a quality holster with a quality belt is the key to your EDC being not only comfortable, and it's not going to be like putting on a pair of jeans that fit just right comfortable. It's going to be like, you know, hey, you know, this isn't, um, it doesn't hurt to wear it. Um, when I first got into carrying, um, I had some systems that it was like, wow, it was more of a pain to wear the gun than it was to actually know, have that comfort of knowing I had it. Um, you know, getting a nice holster, it is hard to want to spend, say, 60 to to $100 or sometimes even more on a holster setup, guys. It is. I know it is. But um, you can find quality stuff out there. Um, this is for my Glock 19. Um, very nice holster, guys. Um, very good retention. Uh, very positive click. And there's certain things like that that you know you have a quality holster. When you can see that type of stuff, um, this has the 1.5 inch clip on it. A lot of guys um, diss these clips, but I tell you guys, I work in the maintenance field. They do general maintenance on houses, heating and air, um, water heaters, plumbing, all that type of stuff. And I'm crawling around all the time. I'm on the ground all the time, lifting heavy stuff. I have never once had the clip fall off my belt, ever. I mean, even at the range, drawing, whatever. I've never had it fall off. Now, I'm sure it can fail just like anything else in the world. I'm just saying I see, I see some guys bash them a little more than I think they deserve to be bashed. So, um, anyways, back to the holster uh, subject. Um, that's the 1.5 inch clip. I just recently purchased this holster. I've probably only had it for about a week to 10 days. I have carried it on and off quite a bit. All in all, I know it's comfortable. That's the point I'm getting at. I know it's quality and I know it's comfortable. Um, this came from Cotting's Custom Concealment. And really cool dude. Met him on Instagram. Check him out. Cotting's, C-O-T-T-I-N-G-S, Custom Concealment. And he has a C3 sticker here. But um, I met him on Instagram. We talked holsters a little bit. Um, I needed something for my TRP I just bought, my 1911, and uh, he threw me a number. It was a really good price, and he said, I can have this pressed for you and in the mail by tomorrow. And I kind of thought, yeah, right, you know, sounds good. And uh, sure enough, guys, he did, and I was kind of worried about the quality of it, you know, with someone throwing it together overnight and it being in the mail in the morning. But um, this is a very quality holster. I actually have my TRP right here. Um very nice fit um, if you can see that very nice fit holster guys especially for the time that went into this and uh, the time he took you know to do it and ship it right out now he's a smaller company he doesn't have I would assume anyways he doesn't have back orders and back orders unless he just you know used my order and skipped in front of everybody else but um, I went with the single um, slim clip this is the first time I've ran this clip and I was kind of worried about it at first especially with such a big heavy gun but it has worked out very, very well for me, guys. Um, go check him out for great prices, great service, and you're going to get your stuff really quick. Um, Cotting's Custom Concealment. Now, with some stuff, guys, like say you want an NCOG, you know, chances, they do have like the buy now, ship now stuff. But if you want, you know, in my opinion, if you're going to buy an NCOG, you know, if I were to do it, I'd want like a multi-cam with the orange mojos. And, you know, if you're going to spend over 100 bucks, you might as well customize it a little bit to your liking. And you're going you're gonna to wait for it. I've heard of guys having to wait multiple months. Um, I actually have a holster on order right now from a custom shop, A1 Custom Tech. Um, dude's a really cool dude. He just has so many people coming to him for these custom holsters that there is a little bit of a wait. And I knew that when I ordered it, and I'm fine with that. Um, he actually said it's going to ship out this Monday. So it'll be roughly a month um, before he actually has it done and shipped. So that's not too bad, guys. Um, it's a custom holster for my Glock 43. Uh, it's going to be multi-cam, so I'm pretty 
pretty excited about it and I've been looking at his work for a long time. Uh, like I said, A1 Custom Tack. Go ahead and check those guys out too. They do some really quality stuff. Um, I actually don't have the holster. I've never carried it so I can't really speak on that just yet. I'm sure it'll be nice because he has he's got work backed up. He's a busy man. Um, so check that out. Now, one thing I was kind of impressed with, guys, um, crossbreed holsters. I always kind of, I seen them, you know, I just, I always thought, you know, if I got this, why wouldn't I just either buy a leather holster, and this is just like one of them Bianchi, or however you pronounce it, uh, leather holsters, which it's a good quality of leather. It's for my SIG 226, but it's just, it's not very comfortable holster, guys. I ended up getting this on a trade or something. Um, it's a holster. It does work. But compared to carrying everything else, guys, it's not a very good holster. But um, with the crossbreeds here, I always thought, you know, I'm either going to go leather or kydex. Why would I want, you know, a crossbreed like that? But uh, a buddy gave this to me, actually, um, a couple weeks ago. I think uh, kind of more or less, like, he got it in a tray, and he had a couple holsters. I didn't have one for my 1911 yet. So he was nice enough to give me this Alien Gear holster, which it is a quality holster, guys. Um... I was pretty surprised when I wore it, actually, how comfortable it really is. Now, I still prefer my Kydex holster over this, but it's, this is still not a bad option. I can see why a lot of guys do carry them. I have just gotten used to such a minimalist, smaller package of holster than this big old thing, putting it on, taking it off, that kind of deal. But um, there's just you know so many different points on EDC we could talk about, guys. I just wanted to hit on a few things that kind of get overlooked in my opinion and not by everybody there's a lot of guys out there that do run quality holsters and quality belts but there's also a lot of guys that don't or a lot of newer guys that don't really know about that you know they think I can go buy a gun you know I'll go on YouTube and look for a quality gun maybe they get a Smith & Wesson Shield or a Glock 43 you know something that works so yes they buy a quality weapon and then you know um, they think well, I'll go to Academy Sports or Walmart and pick me up a holster and that's what a lot of people do guys they end up with an uncle mike's holster or some phobus holster or paddle holster something like that you know and they wonder why the gun's not very comfortable and they end up not carrying the gun a lot or even if they buy a decent holster they get one in a trade um you know when you wear that gun without a quality belt like so it really does affect your system and i'm not just saying that i'm not in getting endorsed by any company or anything um, these are just from my personal experiences, guys, and I know before I was, uh, really had my systems down, I'd watch a lot of EDC videos, and I'd see guys talk about this stuff, and I just really didn't understand it. Um, so please, guys, if you're gonna, you know, if you're new to concealed carry, or you're, you're involved with concealed carry, and you just don't have one of these two quality things, and like I said, a lot of other things come into play, um, you know, your weapon, your knife, this, that flashlight, um, spare mag but really what's gonna really hit home on the comfort aspect um, is your belt and holster so please look into belts and holsters guys you don't have to go SOE um, you don't have to go any holster brand I have here there are thousands upon thousands of holster companies out there anymore it seems like they're popping up out of the woodwork every day and that's not a bad thing guys um, the industry is growing a lot and that's a really good thing for us 2A guys so um, thank you guys for watching I'm kind of just hanging out here tonight. I made a video on my 1022 earlier, so um, I may even make another video after this. I have some time to kill. So uh, my wife's out with one of her friends. I got the kids here, but they have friends over, luckily, so they're entertained. But um, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later.